My name is Christina Mitchell. I'm one of the physicians who sees patients in the Penn Bone Center. And this video is a description about the oral bisphosphonates. The bisphosphonates are one of the classes of osteoporosis medications. And the oral bisphosphonates include actinel, residronate, Fosamax, alendronate, Boniva, abandronate, and the last in the slide here is reclass zoledronic acid, which is an IV bisphosphonate. These are medications that help to reduce the risk of bone loss and bone resorption. In the slide here, you'll notice that the osteoclast cells are the cells that degrade bone, and they are followed by the osteoblasts, which deposit new bone, the bisphosphonates, the class of medications that we're speaking about today, prevent the osteoclasts from resorbing excess bone, which effectively allow the osteoblasts to catch up and deposit new bone. The recommended dosing for these medications, alendronate, also known as Fosamax, is typically given as 70 milligrams once a week. Actinel can be given as 35 milligrams weekly or 150 milligrams monthly. We are not using Boniva as often as we have in the past because it does not have efficacy at the hip, although it does work well at the spine. The alendronate and residronate medications, as I mentioned, are oral bisphosphonates. Typically, the course of therapy is about three to five years. As I mentioned, they are anti-resorptive medications. They inhibit the action of the osteoclast, and they are large nitrogen-containing molecules which incorporate themselves into the bone matrix. Within the bone matrix, they inhibit the osteoclast from binding to the bone. They actually block their physical attachment, and those osteoclasts that still manage to bind to the bone if they ingest some of the bisphosphonate living therein, will go through apoptosis or cell death. The initial course of therapy is five years to be followed by a drug holiday. So one benefit of these medications is that you do not need to take them indefinitely. These medications are best taken first thing in the morning with an eight ounce glass of water and then waiting about 30 minutes to eat. It's recommended that you remain upright and not lie down for one hour after taking the medication to allow the medication to get all the way to the small intestine where it is absorbed and not to sit in the stomach where it can cause reflux or even esophagitis. These medications cannot be used if someone has kidney function below a certain level. Because of the possible adverse reaction of a rare side effect called osteonecrosis of the jaw, it's recommended to receive regular dental care and to be up to date with the dentist prior to starting one of these medications. Please alert your doctor if you have a new symptom of dull or aching pain in your groin or thigh, which could be another side effect representative of atypical, atypical femur fracture. 